Today I'm gonna build a set of custom Miata NC taillights. Uh, several firsts in this build. First of all, this is our very first set of NC Miata taillights. For all the noise, it is an absolute downpour outside. It's literally raining onto the garage door. Next, this is gonna be the very first set that I try to cut my own boards. It wasn't a board that we wanted for this car already designed. The customer wants it to be three hearts just like the NA style. So what we're gonna do is actually go to my friend who has a laser cutter, a laser engraver, and attempt to create our own. I'm very excited to see if we can actually get this thing figured out, because if we can, it's gonna be a huge breakthrough for us. And hopefully I can show you how we did it, and if you wanted to do it yourself, you can. Okay, let's figure out all of the tools that we're gonna need, of course, these things just have to be plastic welded. So we're gonna use our ultrasonic cutter that's gonna give it a very thin cut. Once we get everything modded, we are gonna need something to weld it back. Uh, we're gonna use a plastic welder. I am researching different tools for this. I would love to be able to get some videos on other options besides just a plastic welder. And I have a couple of leads on what to use. To actually build out the board, once it's all, once it's been cut, we're gonna use just your basic soldering iron. Get this from Amazon, fairly cheap, and some solder. I like to go with this thin stuff whenever we're using these really small LEDs. Of course, you're gonna need LEDs and some resistors to actually build it. To install the board, we're gonna use various types of glue. This is one good one that we're gonna use, Goop. It's an automotive adhesive. It works pretty well. And once it's all said and done, we're gonna use some black silicone to actually seal everything up. But one thing that I'm not exactly sure that we're gonna use is the cutter itself, the uh, laser engraver, the laser cutter, whatever it is. I'm not sure the brand of that. Uh, that is going to be at my buddy's house. So once we get there, I can probably update this exact section. Before we do anything, we got to get these taillights open. And I have never opened up a set of these, but it does appear that these things are plastic welded. The only spot that I could actually see was right in between here. This is where you can kind of see that the two pieces of plastic are melted together. So we're going to go ahead and get that chopped. And then we are going to Get these lenses off and really hope we don't break them. These do seem to be uh, a little bit on the older side, so so for the best. Okay, we had to pop out those red reflectors and get this set up as a clear taillight option on our website before we did anything else. Go ahead and get this set up to have the boards made. So what we're gonna do is probably create some sort of template to fit right here. And then we're gonna have another template that's gonna fit right here. The style that this customer is looking for is the three heart style that we've done on the NA Miatas several times. This set right here. This is the exact style that this customer is looking for. So we are gonna try and recreate this on the NC taillight. Okay, I made these quick little templates here. They seem to fit pretty well. Of course, this is obviously designed to be a little more bent, but we will do that once we actually cut it out of the acrylic. Speaking of acrylic, I bought some of the acrylic that we need, and we are going to take it all to my buddy's house, who actually lives right next door, to get it laser cut. I should say attempt to get it laser cut. We've never cut anything out of it. We've always just engraved stuff. So we will see how this goes. So he took my high-tech template, set it in the scanner, scanned it into the computer. We are now getting all of the holes placed for the hearts. Here's what we got so far, at least on the computer. So now we can take it to where? The laser computer. Okay. About four sheets of the black acrylic, so we can make mistakes. Can I stare directly at it? Okay, so it's actually cutting the main board now? Yeah. It's gonna take two passes for each. It worked! 
I don't know why I'm surprised. It did exactly what it was designed to do. Okay, so this is looking really good. Obviously, we still need to mold it. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that later. I have had to mold a few sets of these before, so it's actually not that difficult, just a little bit of heat. But first, we need to cut out the circle or the reverse light. got the boards totally cut out so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start placing the LEDs in the reverse light here unfortunately I guessed at the wrong size for these holes so the LEDs do fall right out of place so what we're gonna do is we are going to just glue all of these LEDs in and then come back and actually wire them up Need to let that glue completely cure up. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and shape these boards to the taillight. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some tape over the lens. I'm going to do quite a bit of tape to protect it because we need to heat these things up in order to form it to this lens. And there we go, we've got a completely formed LED board that we can now start building out to get installed inside of these taillights. This fitment is actually really, really good. It flows with the housing of the taillight. Again, I don't know why I'm surprised because I molded it to the taillight itself, but it's still pretty cool whenever things work out. This part of the housing here, this chrome piece, does need to be painted black, but I'm probably not gonna do that until I get these completely wired up because I wanna test fit it with the actual LEDs all soldered together because this inner piece most likely needs to be trimmed down and then we need to do some sort of protection right here. This chrome piece touches these LED leads, it will actually short it out. Don't ask me how I know. Also, I thought whenever I molded this that the holes would actually shrink just a little bit. Um, turns out they stayed just the exact same. So um, we are gonna have to glue the LEDs in just like we did here for this board as well. I'll show you how we actually wire up these LEDs. We need to go ahead and get this piece right here prepped for the reverse light. It is gonna have to be trimmed and then painted and I want it to be drying while we're working on this board over here. So you can see that it's supposed to fit in just like that, but if we look on the side here, there's a big old gap and that's because it's got this big old lip on it. That was holding a reflector in place, but we don't really use reflectors, so we're gonna cut that piece off and get this set so that it can just drop right on in there. This is a much, much better fit. So now we can actually pop this out and get this thing painted. We're gonna paint it black so that it matches the rest of the taillight housing and also the boards. This is just paper it comes off. It's gonna look more like that one. And now we're gonna go ahead and start building the hearts out. So this one here is the red heart. We're gonna start with that one. Thankfully, this is pretty simple. We just need to solder all of the LEDs together and then we're gonna solder it to a dimming module so that it has parking light and brake light. I will show you what we're doing with the amber light after this.
There we go, we got this board completely built out. Of course, this one is still built out. So now we can go ahead and start to install everything where it needs to go. Now, like I said before, I am probably gonna add some electrical tape right in here, just so that the LEDs do not try to short out on this. I don't want these coming back. So we're gonna do that real quick, as, as well as installing the custom boards. Okay, those are set in place and we're just waiting for them to cure up. In the meantime, I need to get this other side going. There we go, we have those boards completely installed now. So we can go ahead and start to peel the paper off and actually reveal what this is gonna look like. There we go. This is actually looking really, really good. We said this customer wanted the NA heart style, but on their NC, which I believe we have pretty much nailed here. Oh, what we can do next is install the lens on the front and get start to get everything wired up. Okay, let's go ahead and get this lens set. I'm gonna go ahead and use some tape to help us center this thing up and make sure it doesn't move while we do what we need to do. I am going to attempt to do some plastic welding right through here. It looks like we're gonna have enough of a lip to do that. Okay, that lens is held in place. So now we are going to do some plastic welding, mostly along the bottom here, just wherever we can that's not going to be seen from the front or damage this black lip right here. Okay, so now we have the entire bottom plastic welded just because that's where I could actually reach with the plastic welder without causing any damage. And then at the top we have several spots of adhesive. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and silicone it up to make sure that it's completely waterproof. Well, I don't have the bulb sockets or the foam seals for these. So unfortunately, this is as much as I can show you right now, but they are completely done like the actual build itself is completely done other than the basic wiring, which means I still can show you just like I normally would where we just kind of poke the back. So we're gonna show you the finished product as if they were actually done, even though we still need bulb sockets and foam seals, but that's all very boring. And here is the brake light slash parking light. For the parking light, it obviously just gets a little bit dimmer. And if we come over here, this is so hard to do one-handed. There we go, that's the turn signal. Let's do the reverse light. Ah. There we go. I'm pretty stoked on how these turned out. They do look very, very similar to the NA Miatas. And I do love that these have that nice big black lip around the edge so that we don't have to do any paintwork. That black lip hides the cut line naturally. So we don't have to do any of the extra steps like painting.